What's up guys? Welcome to the seventh episode of One Man Army. We are currently standing at 6-0 in the Warlog, going for 7-0. And, and let's get right into it, boys. So to start it off, I already did two war attacks. I'm going to replay them real quick. I'm going to show you guys all the war attacks. I didn't want to do these live on stream because, you know, it's like... Barch. So, just replay through this on 4X. Some nice Town Hall 3 war attacks, you know how it is. Sadly, my Town Hall 2 couldn't make it to this base, but... Ten on three takes it out slowly, <laughs> and yeah, that's the first three star. We got twenty three stars to do this war. If we could three star every base, show you guys the second attack. This one will be a ten all five versus a ten all five. I went with the mass loons. Then I used my CC a little late, and the archers a cleanup. That's a pretty easy one as well. And yeah, after this, it's pretty much just live attacks, and let's win this war. Pretty sure this clan's not going to put up much of a fight, but we'll find out soon. Alright, so let's get in. Let's get right into it. Let's do an attack on this account. Same base as the last one. Um, I think this is a tunnel 4, tunnel 5 maybe. Not sure, let's just spam some loons though. Let's use our extra loons. And let's use some archers on the back end. And these are pretty easy to three star. Mass loons, low town hall. You just spam them, go for that air defense. So pretty much auto three. You gotta worry about double giant bombs, but when you have CC loons that don't die to them, it's pretty much an easy clap. The only annoying part is when your loons get to the in the same cluster and don't split up like that. You gotta worry about time fails, but when you have archers for cleanup, you don't have to worry about a time fail. That's why you gotta save your archers for when your um, balloons already take out the first few defenses. And yeah, looks like that'll be another three star. Feels good. Write that down. Nice, nice, nice. Three three stars done. 17 to go. So my bases in this war, guys, are um, Town Hall 2 to Town Hall 8. Town Hall 8 is the top, and then Town Hall 2 is the bottom, of course. So we're going to be trying to 3-star all of their bases, besides maybe their number 1. Because Supercell did hit me with the... Here, I know your best base is the Town Hall 8, but... Try to three star this town all nine at that max explos, max air defenses, max mortars, max wizard tires, max archer tires, and max cannons. Yeah, I think you could do it on your town all eight. Okay, super solid. O okay, we could try. And yeah, that's basically that. So we'll probably three star everyone besides that base, but we'll find out if we can touch it. Alright, so this account's done. Let's go to the next account we need to do some attacks on. That'll be our Town Hall 6, which will be another mass loon attack. So let's get right into it. We're going to be taking out some other Town Hall 6s with my Town Hall 6. Alright, this one, I think I could save my CC. Uh, find out soon. Also went ahead and looked. None of these bases have... None of these bases have um, defensive CCs, so that does make it kind of easy, an easy war win, but you know, we can't decide what uh, clans we face, so we gotta just get what we are given. We gotta take what we're given. This will be another easy clap. This loon strategy is so good at tunnel 5 and tunnel 6. It's even better at tunnel 6, where you can lightning strike one air defense. And then the other air defense, you rush with loons. This base is obviously even so much easier because he didn't even build the second air defense. And it's going to save my CC for the next attack as well. Clean up, clean up. Oh, rip the archers. Mm -mm. All right, and there we go, another triple. Feels good, feels good. Oh, 
Did not want to spend that. <laughs> Gems. Alright, there we go. Let's do another attack here. Attack another tunnel of six. Same thing here. Tunnel of six attacks, like I said. Double lightning. Archer towers. I mean, archers on the corners for builder huts. Check for CC. Um, I'm going to spam around this space. Just because he's got such spread out defenses. Might as well use my CC. And there, there we go. Nice and easy three star. The reason I spread out on this base is because I'm hoping that my loons don't all cluster in one and go opposite directions. Nice. See how they're all going opposite directions here? That'll speed up the attack. Instead of just dropping them on one side. This will speed up the attack a lot faster. And there we go, another triple. Let's get it. That's, uh, what is that? Five down. Fifteen to go. Also, guys, as I've said before in the other one minute army episodes, the town halls are going to be low for now, but as time goes on, as my accounts progress, obviously, They'll get higher and higher. When the one-man army episodes first started, we only had Town Hall 7s and lower. Now we are moving up all the way to max Town Hall 8s. So yeah, as time goes on, this Town Hall 8 will grow into a Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, etc. So the one-man army will definitely progress as time goes. All right, let's do two more attacks here. This is an easy one. Double lightning. Archers on the corners. Loons there, loons there, loons there. Save my CC. Mm. Yeah, easy clap, easy clap, boys. And then you just wait it out. Tunnel 6, Tunnel 5. Pretty easy. Especially, you know, when the base looks like this. It makes it easier. But either way, even at first max Tunnel 6 is, it's pretty much an auto 3 star. We'll see the bases as we go on in the war. We've been hitting the bottom 6s right now. And we'll move up to the better 6s soon. Better Tunnel 6s. That is. I might try to start, start saving like one or two loons for cleanup because they always take forever to fly around at one mile an hour. Come on, loons. Hurry your ass up. You're not even going to make it there in time. The archers are doing too much work. Oh, see you later. All right. It'll help on the CC. Oh, we got something up here. Yeah. All right. There we go. Another three star. Feels good. Feels good. Let's go in again. Another six. Here we go. See a better six here. Almost maxed out walls. Defenses aren't the best, but air defenses are maxed. So deciding what side I want to go from here it looks like symmetrical pretty much. I'm going to go from this, the other side. So we drop in our lightning, take out air defense. Check for CC, which there is none. Then we drop in our loons. We're definitely going to use our CC loons on this one as well. Then we drop in our archers at a distance once these defenses are down so the archers don't go down as well. This is not the best because they're all clumped. I'd rather see them spread out because of air bombs. But with our high level loons, we should be able to take it out. Or will we choke? Oh no, one loon down. Only have an archer tower left, so I doubt it'll be able to take down both loons. Just drop in our archers. And wait it out. Mm, one loon OP, come on. Oh man, it's getting close. 
Loon, drop your shit, yo. Bro. Bro. Trash attacker. That's definitely gonna be a fail. Wizard Tower stayed up. Alright, we'll train that army comp again. Request troops, and we're gonna go to the next account. That was an oof, boys. That was a big oof. The first fail of the war has come in. Alright, we got two more tunnel sixes to go to, then we'll hop onto our sevens. It won't happen again. Won't happen again, I promise. No promises. Alright, let's try that again. Same side, I just didn't execute, I think. Also, I forgot to send in scout loons for the air bombs. Silly me. Alright, now we can do it. There we go. Much better. Forgot the simple steps. I thought it'd be too much of an easy three star and forgot to do the simple stuff that's needed. Sending in scout loons on tunnel 5 or tunnel 6 is always a necessity to avoid those air bombs. Because if you get hit by a double air mine or air bomb, your balloons are like 10 health. There should be one over here, but can't do anything about it. We just gotta hope our high level loons could do it. Come on. Come on, lads. Alright, there we go. Much better. Dropping the last of our archers, and yeah, that'll be a three star. So I'm debating on this series being a draw is a loss or not, because if you get a draw on your war record, it doesn't count as a loss, obviously, but it does stop your war win streak, which is like the goal, you know, w winning 100 in a row. So I guess I'm going to say a loss is a, um, a draw is a loss. But the thing is, I can't really do five versus fives because a lot of the time both teams end up perfect warring. So it's kind of hard doing a five versus five. I think I got to stick with like bigger wars, like 20 versus 20, 15 versus 15. I might even move to 25 versus 25. So the episodes will be longer is the point of that statement. All right, let's go to the next account. We got one more tunnel six. Which one is it? This one. Mm. Let's send it, boys. Send it. Oh, this guy made it easy on me. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Take out the corner buildings. No air defense in the base. He just wanted to be a nice guy, I guess. Take out all the defenses. Save two for cleanup. Start to drop our archers in for cleanup as well. That's why the reason you save for cleanup is because a big thing with balloons is time failing. So you want to avoid them clustering up. You want them to be spread out after all the defenses are gone. Because time fail is a big factor at tunnel 6 with mass loons. It's looking pretty easy so far. Very nice, very nice. Those will go that way. And these are gone. Perfect. These Russians are going down, boys. They're going down. The Russians will fall to the Bahamas. If you're wondering why I'm saying Bahamas, it's the location of the clan. <laughs> yes, we are from the Bahamas and the LB. The LB is from the Bahamas. All right, let's do that attack again since I didn't use my CC. And this will be perfect. This will be the last tunnel six. My last tunnel six attack, and this will be their last tunnel six defense. So here's a better tunnel six. As you can tell, he's got an air sweeper, but for some reason he's not pointing it that way. He's pointing it outside to protect his gold mine, so. 
Keep that gold mine. I'll take the rest of your base and then the gold mine. So let's drop our loons. We didn't do the coconut loons, but it's too late. We just gotta pray. We gotta hope and pray. Loons, go to that air defense. Air defense. Much better. Good stuff. Drop our archers now that the defenses are gone. Very nice, very nice. Going well. These loons will split up. And that'll make the attack a little faster. Whoop, nope. They decided to go the same direction. Mother trucker, dude. Mother trucker. Split up. Split up. Left. Some of you left. Ah! One guy. That's it? One little skeleton? <laughs> We'll get the three star either way. I'll just take more time. Easy claps. This is the only time you'll see me three starring in wars, guys. When I do it in the one man army, <laughs> you won't see it on stream. Maybe, maybe occasionally. Mostly not. Mm -mm. And there we go. Nice. Alright, so that's the last of the Town Hall 4, 5, and 6 attacks. We're moving on to the Town Hall 7 attacks where I use Mass Dragon. I'm not sure if I have dragons unlocked on this account. Wait. I definitely just went to the same account. Never mind. 10 IQ. Streamer. I'm supposed to go to this account right here. Alright, here we are. We do have dragons. Nice. Alright, let's take out this 10 L7. Easy win, easy win. Uh, what is going on down here? Funnel the dragons. Use the rage spells where needed. Use one right here. Use one right here. We'll run through the center of this base. And we'll use one on top of the town hall as well to get to that air defense. We'll save our CC for the next attack. Nice and easy. Town Hall 7 my favorite town hall. It's so easy to 3 star. <laughs> I love it. If only I was this good at 3 starring on every town hall. Obviously that was a trash town hall 7. But I'll show you guys as the video goes on some better town hall 7 3 stars. Mm -mm -mm. We got some more cleanup over there, it looks like. Nice progress base this guy had going. Brand new 7. Sorry, brother. Sorry the dragons had to do it to you. Very sorry. Little baby cannons. <laughs> Rest in peace. Alright, there we go. One attack done. One more to go on this account. We'll be using the same strategy, which is going to be um, Mass Dragon Rage. Ten dragons, three rage spells. We don't even have our Barb King unlocked yet, but it shouldn't matter. Oh, nice. Here we go. Better seven right here. This one's going to be annoying at these builder huts in the corners. We're going to attack from this side over here since we see the Air Sweeper. And we're going to use our CC. What's in our CC? We got some balloons. Perfect. We want to prioritize more dragons on this side of the base, thus, because there's more air defenses over there. Use a rage. Let's use our loons. These loons should run through the base really well and help us get these air defenses. They should go right that way. Oh, well, they go for the cannon. Get wrecked. 
There they go. Now for their defense. All right, now let's see where the last wounds will go, and then we'll drop the last rage where they should need to be dropped, where it needs to be dropped. I could have dropped it here. Actually, I will drop it here. I was debating it. I was going to save it for the loons. I could have dropped it on either side and still got the three star either way. Man, yeah, there we go. Just got this one pesky builder hut in the corner. Trying to make me time fail. You thought I'd time fail. Dr. Mujitaba. <laughs> what a great name. Original. <laughs> Let me get to that builder hut. Damn, these videos are gonna be long, boys. They're gonna be long. 30, 20 minutes deep. Ooh. Like halfway through as well. Oh yeah, we are just hit halfway through. I'll make the three stars quick and easy. Next account. I get another tunnel seven to go to. This one right here. This is a better seven than the last one. We got max dragons on this one and level one barb king. Let's take this base out. We're gonna work our way from the bottom to the top. Three starring almost every base that we hit first try. This one's a weird base design. Should be obviously easy, but sometimes these weird base designs could trip you up. Because this air defense, if it stays alive and the dragons don't target it, could screw me. What I'm going to do for this is use my dragons on top. And then we're going to use our um, loons to take out this one. Yeah, and that should do it pretty easily. There we go. Once you see all three air defenses are down when you're using mass dragons, that's when you know you three star. I could also use hog riders to take out that air defense, but I like the loons more. Mostly because they're easier to get donated. And there we go, another triple. Wow, I'm good at this game, boys. Wow, so good. <laughs> There we go, very nice, very nice. Request again. Let's see the next base, see if I can hit it without a CC. No, I'll use it, my different attack on it, different account to attack that one. I got a lot of accounts left to attack, so I might as well use them all. I got like eight accounts with two attacks left, and we only have like eight bases left at three star. Go on in this account with this base. As I keep going through my attacks, my accounts will get better and better. So as you could tell, I've been going through the sevens. The first seven I had like no king. Now I'm starting to have a king. Level one, and now it's level three on this one. So as we go through all my accounts, they get better and better. All the way up to basically max town hall eights. That's where we're at on the mini account phase. Easy clap right here. Great funnel going on. Loons are going right into the core. Dragons are going into the core. This base is going to get rolled over. Never put all your air defenses right next to each other. It's a bad idea. Or in the same, you know, like 10 block radius. You're just going to get steamrolled if someone knows how to funnel. Hmm. Nice. Another three star. All right, we got one more tunnel seven to go to, and then we're moving on to the tunnel eights. Mm -mm -mm.
There we go, there we go, there we go. Another triple. And seven more bases to go. Train that army comp again. Request troops. Last town all seven right here. All right, nice tunnel seven to go against. Love to see it. Let's attack from this side of the base, which is gonna be this side over here. Either want to attack from this side or this side because the air sweeper is pointing this way, so you never want to attack against the air sweeper. And then the reason you don't want to attack from the top is because you want to have a attack from the side of a base, never from a the pointed end, because your troops won't funnel. They'll just spread out. This way, though, if I this way, if I attack from the side, the troops will go right into the core because I made a funnel. And yeah, boys, there we go. Let's go, loons. Let's go, dragons. Let's three-star this base. Funnel is going great so far. Drop our last rage. Should be a pretty easy three-star. That dragon came in clutch, took out two air defenses. We would have got it anyways, I think, but dragon in the middle secured it. Hey, you only need one. You only need one. Oof. Obviously, this war is... Like I've said already, going to be harder if they have defensive CCs, but I can't do anything about them having or not having defensive CCs, or I can't pick how good or bad the clan is. You know, I'd rather have some easy matchups to start it out, and like maybe when I'm like 30 deep, 30 and 0, get some hard ones in there. But if we lose, you know, it's going to be really unfortunate because we're never we're not going for any losses. We're going for 100 wins, zero losses, zero draws. That's the dream. Right, so that's another account three starred. Let's request here. Boom. Let's go to our first town hall eight. It's one of my better town hall eights right here, actually. I think it actually might be my top war weight town hall eight. It is, yeah. Alright. Um doesn't really matter since all my town hall eights are max town hall eights. This one's just max war weight because it has the best walls. Alright, so first thing attacking of dragons, a tunnel 8. Dragon loon is what I do at tunnel 8. Uh, 8 dragons, 8 loons. Level 10 barb king. You want to look for the air sweeper, which is doing completely nothing. This clan is uh, brain dead. And then you want to funnel against it. We want to send in our troops right into the core. So the barb king's going to funnel the left side, dragon will funnel the right side. Then dragons will go right into the core. And then the loons will follow up the dragons and take out the base while the dragons tank for the air defenses. And yeah. Usually a pretty easy three star. Poison would be for the CC troop, but you know, don't have it in that situation. And then your extra spell that you get from your CC will be used on the last air defense. Drop our last rage spell. It's looking pretty good so far. We've got a ton of loons left on the edge. And there we go. Nice triple. These guys have some rough bases. Some rough accounts in this war. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, double layers? Like, what is this? Don't know how to say your clan name, but... What are you guys getting taught in Russia? <laughs> Nothing. I'm kidding. I love you Russians. If there's any Russians watching. Just gotta wait for the time. And we'll three-star this base as well. 
Easy, easy. There we go. Another three star in the books. I think that's what, 15 or 16? A few more to go. 15, down, five more to go. Train that army comp again, request for CC again. Let's go to the next town hall 15. Town hall 15. Town hall eight. Luca. All right, here we go, next account. Take out from the bottom up, like I've said. Better tunnel eight here, but it's still an easy clap. I'm gonna set my Barb King up top. I'm gonna set a dragon over here just because I hate Builder Hut in the corner. I'm gonna attack from this side of the base as well. You guys might see me attacking from one side of the base more than the other more often. People just develop a natural preference of what side of the base they want to attack from, and they feel more comfortable against it. That's also a big helpful uh, tip in base building. Most people that are right-handed will attack from the left side of the base and move their way into the right. It just feels it just feels better than attacking the other way. So maybe you put your more traps on the left side. Something I've learned. Come on, Lens. Oh no. Loons, don't let me down. Alright, Loons will let me down. The dragon won't. There we go. Nice triple. Mm -mm. Yeah, let me know if... Maybe you guys have a preference too. I gotta ask the stream or if you guys want to comment either. What preference do you guys... What side do you guys like to attack from? Some people probably will say it doesn't matter. It's all the same, but... I've definitely felt it. I like to attack from the left side more than the right side. I rarely attack from the bottom. The top feels better. Weird. Alright, that'll be another three star. I just gotta wait for my loons to fly on over to this builder hut. Because this guy is being cool and puts a builder hut in the corner. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Bentsenny. Thanks, bro. Ben, best, Sunny. Thanks. All right, get crushed. See you fucking later. All right, sixteen down. Four more to go. Request train up another army. Next account. Mm -hmm. Give me some better bases, guys. Give me some max dates. This one's better. Better defenses all around. Just bad uh, bad archer tires. Everything else looks max. And then walls. Walls don't matter, though. I'm using dragons. Let's send it. King funnel, dragons funnel. Loons right into the core is the plan. Like always. I'll put my loons a little bit to the side on this one just because I could tell that um, I had more of a cluster in the core. Nothing on the left side. We want to be able to take down all three air defenses. Oh, I got a max freeze on this account. That'll be an easy three star. And there we go. Just ran through that base. Tunnel 8. Mass Dragon Loon. Definitely one of my favorite attack strategies for Tunnel 8. You could three star any base farming 100% in war. Three star most any bases. If you can't three star if mass dragon loon, you just switch it up to the mass hogs. And it's an easy clap. Or you could also go with the more complicated um, Pekka Valk Golem comp. I don't really use that one. Maybe I'll start using it though, just to mix up the tunnel eight strategies for the future one min armies. Alright, there we go. Another triple. 17 down, 3 to go. Next account. This one. 
All these accounts are mine if you guys are wondering. I have 36 accounts. I made them over the span of like a two, three years and then most of them in the last one year. Most of these, all these eights in the last four months. Oh my god, what the? What the? What the hell? What is this? I'm gonna try to take this base out. It's only a Barb King if I saw it. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's completely slaughter this base. Dragon's attacking. I won't use my CC. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Rest in peace, this cool town online. It'd be even cooler if this Tunnel 9 had heroes for the war weight. Sadly, he doesn't, but... Thanks for the 3-star, brother. Nice base, though. I like it. Whatever that name means. There we go. Another triple there. Two left, guys. Two 3-stars left. Can't attack on this account again because my Barb King's down, sadly. All right, let's go to this account right here. We have two more tunnel eight attacks left, and we have two bases left, so this is going perfectly so far. Like I said, I probably won't be able to three star the the best base because it's a tunnel nine, but we'll get like one or two stars off a of perfect war. I definitely just set way too many of my dragons on the right side, so I'm going to have to go heavier on loons on the left side. And yeah, there we go. I also have a haste spell, which is weird, but it's okay. Rage, rage. I guess I could save the haste for the loons. Loons, catch up in the back. You guys in the back. Get, get your ass in the fight. There you guys go. One shot ready. Boom. Headshot. Nah, easy three star again. Been easy three stars pretty much all this war. I think we've failed, what, one hit? Easy claps, boys. Easy claps. Love to see it. It's looking like a 7 and 0 to me, guys. It's looking like a 7 and 0 to me. 7-0 would be our war record, obviously. What is that? Is that Turkey? Or China? It's definitely Turkey, right? I feel like an idiot if I got the wrong name. It's star in the top left with four other stars next to it. I'm about to look it up. Mm hmm. Yeah, where's the shot? Where's the flags? Don't make me feel stupid. Please, game. Well, you're not going to tell me what flag it is? Are you kidding me? Man. It's not turkey. It was China. Well, that's my second guess. Sorry to all your Turkish people out there. If you're watching, forgive me for mistaking you. All right, well, that is 19 attacks. 22 attacks, 19 three stars. And now we got to try out their uh, max Town Hall 9 with the Town Hall 8. Shout out Supercell for that matchmaking. It's okay, though. All their other bases are rushed. They only have one nice base, and I have... A lot of nice eights. They don't stand a chance. Oh my god, they've only done four attacks for three stars. I'm gonna have to watch these replays soon. Alright, let's try to hit this number one. Hmm. Well, shit. Alright, we're gonna attack from this side over here. Let's see how this one goes, boys. Mm 
that sweeper is going to screw any of our chances to get a... Wait, actually, the tunnel is pretty weak. Oh, no. That... That dragon trolled me. Could have got the two-star here. Man, I was really hoping for that dragon to turn around, but the sweeper is just telling it to go the other way. We'll get the one star. I'm going to call it at a one star. I don't need, I don't think I need to get the three here. I think it's an easy clap. And yeah, guys, that's how we're going to end this one man army episode. 58 to three. Actually, wait, 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 take it back. Let's watch a replay here. See how bad or good they are. So this is their number four attacking my number six. They're going in with the P.E.K.K.A. King Walk. Lightning Strike on a Mortar with an Earthquake. It doesn't take it out with another Lightning Strike. What? With eight Wizards, double Lightning on Mortars. Here comes the P.E.K.K.A.s. Here, oh, it's a Peeler. P.E.K.K.A. Healer. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. Okay. Oh, how does he think he's going to take out the dragon? Let's find out. Oh, he's got some wizards. I forgot about the wizards. Well. That attack did not go very well, I would say. Yeah, that didn't go well. Did he get the two star or one star? I don't remember. It looks like he's going to one star. Yeah, it's definitely a one star. Well, let's say I think we won the war. And yeah, guys, that's the score, 58 to 3. I'll update you guys at the next one man army episode, which is going to be which is going to be episode 8 to see if we won the war or not. Right now, here's the clan if anyone wants to see the clan tag and look up the clan, feel more than welcome. Yeah, we're on the 6 wars one, 6 war win streak. Hopefully 7-0 by tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you guys in a few days at the next episode. Peace out. Thanks for watching. See you later.